What do you think of when I say the future? Is it tall skyscrapers, flying cars, or perhaps the robots taking over the planet? You know, many people have thought of multiple such futures, but really, who's done the extensive planning on where the resources for such a future are going to come from? I mean, no matter how high your car flies, you're still going to need water to wash it, right? Don't change our usage trends in about 10 years' time. The world is only going to have 60% of the water it needs to satisfy the entire population. And in about 30 years' time, the world demand for water is about to increase by 55%. Considering our current reality, it's easy to get scared. But there are a few things that we can do to secure our water future. Three things we must start doing now. Our recycling, desalinating, and conservating our water resources. Wastewater recycling is the process of removing fresh water from wastewater sources. Namibia, a vast desert country, has been recycling water for the last 50 years without fail. So much so that in every glass of Namibian water, 25% of it is recycled water. This method of water reclamation also reduces water inequality. It increases the amount of water that go into pipes and makes it cheaper for the general populace. Another thing we can do is desalination, which is the process of taking water from the ocean, removing unwanted particles, and making it safe and drinkable. However, since it uses a lot of energy, governments should invest in solutions that will allow us to make this process more efficient. Saudi Arabia's effective use of this technology shows that it can be applied in numerous other countries if it is more streamlined. While setting up desalination plants and recycling plants seems awesome, it's expensive and resource heavy. There are a lot of things that individuals can do to secure their water future. Homeowners should invest in drip irrigation systems, small grey water recycling plants, and sensor-based taps to save water. Stats from Sydney Water say that it can save 15% of daily consumption, and over a year's time, it saves millions of litres and billions of dollars. Thus, by implementing such measures, reimagining how we consume and distribute our water, we can work together to create a safer and healthier future.